Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. Today I wanted to go over Make Live. So Make Live essentially takes a surface that you've created and makes it your grid, so to speak. The grid in my scene here, this is not a surface that I can see outside of Maya. This is just a representation of a plane that I can use to make things and they'd be oriented to and uh, use it as a snapping grid to just build things on top of but it's not itself a visible thing out that you'll see in a movie that you're rendering or in a game you're making but you can use a surface and give it the same attributes as this grid and let you create things on your surface or draw a curve on your surface just real quick let me demonstrate if I go to create CV curve tool and you can use any curve tool when I click and drag points on this grid and hit enter by default it is snapping or aligned with this grid it's not drawing curves out here in space below the grid or above it it's using this grid as the point of contact when I'm clicking to draw this curve delete that. If I go to create let's say a polygon cube and I click and drag on this grid, it's using the grid as the base of where I'm making this cube as the contact point for my mouse when I click and drag it's using the grid as where it's connecting with my mouse click. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense but let's uh, hide the grid and create a polygon sphere enter so I have this sphere now and let's say I want to draw a curve all over this sphere and have it follow the contours of this sphere that's where make live comes in you go to modify make live or you can hit this magnet icon up here in the status line it's right here so we go to modify make live you'll notice that my wireframe on my selected sphere turns a, a darker shade of green and I can no longer select it it's still in my scene I can rotate around but I can no longer select this sphere if I open the outliner the sphere is still there and I can select it in this sense and I can still move it once I have selected the sphere in the outliner but in the scene itself it's not selectable that's because it has been made live this surface is now live meaning I can now use it as my grid so to speak I'm gonna to go to create CV curve tool and I'm just gonna start clicking around on this sphere let's draw something really wavy hit enter and hit the 4 key to go to wireframe view and you can see that my curve has been drawn and it's using the sphere as the point of contact for when I'm clicking let's try a different background color I don't know what's I think this actually works best so it's using the sphere as my grid and I'm drawing this curve on my grid which is the sphere hopefully it's not too confusing but make live essentially just makes the surface live in the sense that I can use it to draw stuff on or create things on. If I go to create, um, just using polygons for now, but say polygon sphere, if I click and drag and create my sphere, see it's using the uh, larger sphere, the live sphere, as the surface that it's adhering to it oriented the sphere to be along the normal of the surface I've clicked on so you see my pole is angled this way coming off of the sphere if I had created this sphere let's go ahead and make another one up here click and drag hit enter you'll see it is oriented in this direction it's actually a nerve sphere but anyway. if I move it now you'll see that I can move it off the sphere it's not adhered to it but if you click and drag on the center of the of the move tool click and drag 
you'll see that it does adhere to the sphere using my move tool. If I try and drag off the live surface, it won't move. And this is whenever I'm clicking and dragging on the center handle on the move tool, not the actual arrows. If I click on an arrow, I can move it off, no problem. But when I try and click on the center arrow, or center handle, I should say, and click and drag to move it, it will snap to the live surface. Now, it won't change orientation. So the orientation of the sphere is still the same from when I created it to begin with, but I can move it all over the sphere and place it wherever I want as long as it is still live. So to make it not live anymore, I simply click this magnet icon again or go to modify and you'll see that instead of make live it now says make not live. Click that button and now my surface is no longer live. You can only have one live surface active at a time. You can have you can use multiple surfaces as a live surface but you have to toggle them on and off as you move along. So if I wanted this surface, this little sphere now, to now be live, I can click Make Live. But if I, I want this sphere to be live, and click Make Live, it'll switch, and this one's no longer live. So something else I wanted to show you, and I do still have this curve I drew before. You'll, um, let me undo and move it back, and go to Wireframe so you can see it better. So if I click it, you'll see that the selection handle for my curve, or the pivot point, is way down here. I'm going to go to Modify, Center Pivot, just to kind of center that uh, a little bit easier to see. So this curve I drew on the sphere, If I now, and my sphere is live. If I click and drag now, you'll see that the curve pulls away from the sphere. Although my handle is snapping to the sphere just like the, the other objects. The curve itself is not staying on the sphere. And that's because the sphere is a polygon sphere. And curves don't necessarily use polygons in their math. They're a curve, and they are also considered a NURB, or non-uniform rational B spline, or just say spline for short. So if we were to use a NURBS sphere, as our make live surface and draw a NURBS curve on that surface we get a much different result than we do with a polygon surface like we have here. So let's look at that real quick. I'm going to hit the make live button to make that not live and delete all this and start over. We're going to go to create NURBS primitives, make sure it's NURBS, sphere, click and drag. So now I have my NURBS sphere here I'm going to make it live, and again it's under modify, make live, or if we have something live already, make it not live. But then we're going to make this live, and we're going to draw a curve on it. So now my curve is on the sphere. If I were to select my curve, you'll notice that my move tool looks a little different. It's like these, this little diamond shape in the middle with a green Y axis and an X, I mean a red X axis, but no depth. It's still considered a 2D object as a curve, but it's adhered to the surface. So when I move around now, you'll see how the curve will stretch and contract and expand along with the contours of the sphere that it is drawn on. So I can literally move it anywhere on this sphere and it will conform to the sphere's shape and deform at the poles and such like so. This is called a surface curve different than an isoparm if I were to create another nerve sphere real quick oh, and of course it snapped to my live surface but that's okay. Let's pull it off right click and select isoparm and if you're not familiar with the components of a NURBS surface if the word isoparm means nothing to you check out the uh, NURBS component video I did it's a little short video just going over all the components of a NURBS object 
just so you're up on the lingo. If I right click on this NURB, this new NURB sphere that is not live and choose isoparm and select one of these lines, these are not surface curves. These are isoparms. A little bit different. This is a surface curve. It's a curve on the surface. An isoparm is a component of the surface. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. But a surface curve is different in that it is attached to this sphere. Open my outliner and delete my new sphere. I don't need that anymore. I still have NURB sphere 1, the first one I made that the curve is drawn on. And if I hit the make live button to make it not live anymore, there we go. So I can now select my sphere. You'll notice that the curve is selected along with the sphere. There's no, there is no curve object in my outliner. There's no curve object in my scene according to Maya. It, this has become a component, so to speak, of the NURB sphere. So how would you use this curve? Lots of different ways, especially in the services menu. You have all these commands that we have several videos going over such as by rail and then extrudes and planers and stuff. Well, not planer so much, but loft and revolve and all that kind of thing. Um, you can use any curve function, really, with this curve. It just is attached to this sphere. Now, if you want this curve off of the sphere, you will have to do another function called edit curves duplicate surface curve, in which case I've duplicated my surface curve and have made an actual curve object that I can then use in my scene for other things. So that's how you would use this curve separately if you wanted to. But Make Live lets you draw a curve on this surface. And this will work for other things as well, such as particle effects, uh, paint effects, different things that use brush strokes to do anything, or can emit from a surface, or just in general draw on a surface for any reason. Anything you could use the grid for, you can use a make a live surface for. So I'll go over a lot of these other functions and other videos that are more focused on them. But I wanted to make sure you knew what make live was, because make live is going to come into play in a lot of other tools and functions as we go forward. So make live, modify, make live right here, allows you to do this kind of thing. Hopefully you like this video. Hopefully, hopefully you learned a little bit. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you have any comments, suggestions, requests. I definitely take requests. Uh, thanks for watching again, and I will talk to you later.